This video is a demonstration of Logic Pro 10.5's sampler, multi-sampler instrument, the big brother to the quick sampler, single sampler instrument. If you've watched my quick sampler demonstration, you would appreciate that the steps to getting the sampler instrument started are precisely the same as that of the quick sampler instrument. Let's start with creating a few notes that I'll be using to create a sampler instrument. I will pick the ES2. convert these five notes into a sampler instrument. We pick sampler, as simple as that. Let's drag these five notes into the sampler instrument and pick zone per note optimized. What zone per note optimized does is that the sampler analyzes your file figures out where each note is, their pitches, and then maps them to the correct keys on the keyboard. Here we are. Let's try playing it. Those were precisely the same notes that I played with the ES2 synth sound. So what if you have a few samples of an oboe, which is an orchestral instrument? And I've got two folders of oboe sounds. Each folder has notes of the same pitches. And you ask me why? It's because there are two different kinds of articulation. Those of you who are familiar with the terms legato and staccato will know that staccato means that the sound is played short and detached like a snap. That's staccato. Legato means the note is played and then held for a certain amount of time. So I want both staccato and legato articulations to be in my sampler instrument of oboe sounds so that I can access them in live performance as and when I want staccato or legato. So let's drag the staccato sounds into a fresh track first. I'll place them all on one track. Let's play this, shall we? I'll also locate my legato sounds and place them on the same track. Let's have a quick listen. Now let's create a sampler instrument. First, let's drag the staccato sounds in. In this case, we want to drag these sounds to zone per file optimized. Zone per file optimized means that you have individual files of each note that you want mapped to a key. It doesn't have to do the work for you anymore. You have done the splicing and dicing. So, but you want it to quickly detect which keys the notes should be on, which keys these pitches should be on. So that's why I choose zone per file. Next, we get our legato notes, drag them into the same category as well. 
zone profile optimized. So how do we create spots for one or the other so we can access one or the other when we want to without having to fiddle with the sampler instrument anymore, say in live performance? We do that with velocity mapping. As you can see here, our velocity values start from 0 and end at 1 to 7. At velocity 1 to 7, that's the hardest you can hit a key. At one or two, that's on the softest end. At zero, you're not hitting it at all. So I feel that the legato notes should come at the softer end of the touch. So I'm going to create a split point between the two groups of articulations. Uh, I believe that for legato, we should be looking at zero velocity to perhaps 80. I know I get pretty excited during live performance so I think 0 to 80 is a good compromise as to how hard or soft I would hit that keys. Uh, for staccato let's pick 81 to 127 the higher end of the velocity range. Velocity switching is very useful in live performance. Let's say if you have a three octave keyboard but various sounds you want to have at your back end call. Let me demonstrate. I'm going to pick for our first sound my fresh R&B. And let's record a few notes. Let's find a second sound. Let's go into sculpture. Let's give this a short release. Let's record this. Now we have that, and we have this. Two distinguishable sounds. Let's follow a similar procedure to creating the oboe sampler instrument. First of all, create a sampler instrument. Next, import your files. Our fresh R&B recording is one file containing several discrete notes. So we pick zone per note optimized. There you are, it's deduced what notes you played and where they should be mapped to on the keyboard. Now let's drag the sculpture recording in. Same category, zone per note optimized. So you hear the two sounds stacked on top of each other. How do we segregate them so that they're in two separate velocity groups and we can access either of them when we want to by either hitting softer or harder? We go to velocity mapping. So for fresh R&B, I would probably play that softer, so I'll put that in the lower velocity group, maybe 80, 0 to 80. For sculpture, because it's more staccato-ish, I will put that in the higher velocity group. So let's play and see if it worked.
please like and subscribe if you found this video useful. Thanks.